Matt fans, welcome back. Today we're having a look at zip files and QGIS. Part of what I do is tutor a course at the University of Oxford and it's aimed at complete beginners in GIS and QGIS. As it's aimed at complete beginners, I often get asked this question about dealing with zip files, so I thought it'd be useful to dive into it further and have a good look at it. If you'd like to sign up for this course through the University of Oxford, then there is a link in the description below. If you're looking for a quicker course and you're a complete beginner, then head on over to Udemy. Again, there's a link in the description below and you can take my Introduction to GIS and QGIS 3 course via Udemy. And you'll get more of a discount if you use that link in the description below. Hope to see you there. But for now, let us get on with zip files. Today I'm on a Windows 10 machine and I'm using QGIS 3.10.9. And here I am in my file explorer. So Windows has a file explorer, everybody's got this, that has Windows 10. And to access it, if you press the Windows key and the E key, that will open it up. So a little shortcut for you to get there. Now I've downloaded some data from the Oxford course and it turns up in a zip file. So I'll just open this folder and here it is. You can see that the zip file is a little bit different. It looks like an ordinary folder, but it has this zip on it. And if I double click into this, Windows 10 will allow me to see the interior of it. And you can see that I've got this special tab that's popped up and it says extract compressed folder tools and that's what a zip file is it's a compressed folder so anything in that folder has been squished down to save space and it's held in this zip file now at the top here i've got the option to extract all so i could take all the items out of this zip file and have them in a normal folder or i can leave them where they are the other option is to go up and to right click on this and then go down to extract all and that will extract all of the items from that zip folder so let's do that and see what it looks like i'm just going to hit extract all and it will default to the name of the zip file there we go and if i hit extract things happen and we have an unzip file now it's automatically opened up a new window of our file explorer i'm just going to get rid of that Hit close and here we are in the original area and you can see we've got the original zip with the dot zip and I've got the new folder. So the zip file has this zip on it and the unzipped file does not. Here I am in QGIS 3.10 and using my browser panel which works very similarly to File Explorer I can explore my folders and files. So I'm just going to drop down my C drive and then go to demo which is where I saved that zip file and then extracted it to and it should be in zip files so if I open this up there we have the extracted folder this one and I have the original zip file as well which is this one now you can see they've got different icons so this is a folder icon this is a zipped folder icon and there's a couple more dis differences as well so if I drop down and have a look at the contents of my extracted folder, I can see the individual folders within there. And if I do the same with my zip folder, I just get the information of which folder it's in, in textual form. Now I can add data from either of these to my QGIS project. That is not a problem at all. It's very cool that QGIS lets us dive straight into a zipped archive. So if I bring in my fields, for example, there's my fields. Excellent. And if I go up to the vector and bring in fields as well, there we are. That's fields from the extracted folder. So both of these work and that's absolutely fine. But you will notice some differences in the extracted folder which is my pink field, if I highlight that, you can see this little pencil is available and that means I can edit this layer. And if I go to my green field, I'm just gonna turn off my pink field. If I try and go to the edit session, I can't. And that is because it's still in a zip file. So there's no editing allowed of 
data that is within a zip file. And that's because QGIS can't write to the zip file. It can't write new information to the zip file. All it can do is have a look at existing information that is within that zip file. Now, if I wanted to save my project to the same location, I'm just gonna go up to project and save as, and I would like to save it in my zip folder. And my options for saving, you can see I've only got the extracted folder where I could save this particular QGZ project file. The zip file is not available and that's because QGIS cannot write to a zip file. So I'm just gonna call this uh, my project for the time being. I'll okay that and that has saved. And if I go, if we look in my zip files here, you can see my project is saved in there, fantastic. Now I'm going to skip out of QGIS for the moment and go back to File Explorer. And what I'd like to do is take that project and I'm going to add it to my case study farm.zip. So that has been moved into that zip archive. Let's have a look at it in there. My project.qgz. Excellent. And I'm going to delete the original one. So let's just delete that. Okay, now if I go back to QGIS and just update my browser, my project file has been saved in the zip folder, but I cannot see it. And QGIS will not let you open a project file that is stored within a zip folder, not from within the program anyway. But let's check this out. Back in File Explorer, if I open up my zip archive, and there is my project.qgz. If I double click on this, Windows knows that it is a QGIS project file, and so it's going to use QGIS in order to open it. QGIS has been able to open the project up that was stored in the zip folder, and it's pretty common to receive a project file and the data that goes along with it in one zip folder. But if I were to make a change, for example, turn on my extracted fields file and then go to save, insufficient permissions, the project file is not writable. And that's because this project file is coming from that zip archive. So depending on what you're doing with QGIS, it may be beneficial to leave data in a zip file if you're trying to save space and you're just viewing the data. But if you need to do anything like geoprocessing or editing the data, or you've got a project file in there as well, it's really beneficial to extract that zip folder, as we saw at the beginning of the video. And that is all for today. Just a real quick one, going back to basics, I hope it helped. And if it did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the cusp of a milestone. We're nearly at 5,000 subscribers, so I can't thank you all enough for that. And if you'd like to help the channel, don't forget to share the video around. It's the best way you can help the channel out. Other than that, have a great day and happy mapping.